everybody stop freaking out. But Rob Gronkowski is returning to the NFL, but he is not going to be a member of the New England Patriots. He has been traded to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers where he is going to be reunited with Tom Brady, his quarterback that he has played with for all nine seasons of his NFL career. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers become one of the best offenses in the NFL when you look at the star-studded cast. This is like an Ocean's Eleven rollout type of cast. You got Tom Brady, you got Chris Godwin, you got Mike Evans, you got Rob Gronkowski. Currently, Ron Jones is the running back for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I know a lot of you are asking, what is this going to mean for my fantasy team? Are we drafting Tom Brady is a QB1. Well, absolutely. This definitely helps his value. There's no way it got you don't know, last year. He was a borderline quarterback one. Now, if you're in a position where you miss out on guys like Lamar Jackson and Patrick Mahomes and Russell Wilson and Deshaun Watson, and you want to wait for a little bit, at some point, you're going to be able to draft Tom Brady. He's going to have all these weapons. In a Bruce Arians offense, there is an opportunity that Tom Brady could be a top five quarterback this season so keep that in mind also you know what we've talked about this at great length we loved Chris Godwin coming into the season loved him enough to make him the wide receiver one in a lot of our lists because you look at what happened last year 86 receptions this season for me it's automatic that he's going to get 100 he's going to have 100 receptions Chris Godwin I don't think that having Rob Gronkowski is going to hurt him at all if anything it's going to help him because there's going to be a need to keep an eye on what Gronk is doing out there. So this makes Chris Godwin even better. So don't be afraid of him at all. The only player that I would possibly be worried about is Mike Evans because we said that the one place where Mike Evans could benefit from a lack of targets or anything like that would be in the red zone. But now that you have Rod Gromkowski, it seems like there is an opportunity because we thought that Mike Evans could flirt with double-digit touchdowns and we know that touchdowns are so volatile. So I'm going to move Mike Evans down my draft board just a little bit. Just a little bit. And of course, Rob Gronkowski, you know what? He has an injury history, He does, but he's still a young player. So that's fine. So you know what? I have him still outside of the Holy Three. I will not put him ahead of George Kittle, Travis Kelsey, Zach Ertz. He is up there with Darren Waller and other players. Austin Hooper, of course, who's in a new situation in Cleveland. The biggest key for me, And the one position that this impacts the most, it's not Ron Jones. Like, I would be shocked. And if you're watching this after the draft, forgive me. And if they they don't take a running back, then I will look like an idiot. But whomever the Tampa Bay Buccaneers draft at running back, whether it's in the first round or whether it's pick 45 or they move around or whatever it is, the running back that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are drafting is going to be a player that I'm going to be overdrafting this season in fantasy football. There is no doubt in my mind that I will be drafting that running back in the third round, probably. And we'll have to see who it is and who it is. I mean, if Jonathan Taylor, like imagine if somebody like Jonathan Taylor falls all the way down to them. That would be amazing. Or if you could get Clyde Edwards Hilaire, that guy in that offense with Bruce Arians, with this star studded cast would end up being one of the biggest breakouts of the year. So we love it. So to recap, we love Tom Brady. We're back in the Tom Brady business. We were worried about it, but now we're back. We love Chris Godwin. We're a little less enthusiastic about Mike Evans. He's still going to be a very good player. And of course, he could end up being an ADP darling if a lot of people are going to back off of him. And of course, we love Rob Gronkowski. He is going to be top five, top six. He is up there. He's not He's not breaking the, the trinity at the top, but he's up there. But we absolutely love whomever is going to be the starting running back for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We could find out this week. So keep it tuned here. I will let you know we'll be having some draft reaction and all of that good stuff after Thursday, Friday, Saturday. After the weekend, we'll go over all that stuff, the winners and losers and all that good stuff. But to me, this has been pretty amazing. It's fun. It's just fun having Rob Gronkowski back in the NFL. And we can't wait to see him out there crushing it for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers.